Hey, welcome back to the channel. Are you a fan of Zelda and just can't get enough of whatever Nintendo puts out? Well, today Nintendo released the Zelda Game & Watch. And of course, the mailman was nice enough to drop off mine. So I figured we could just do a quick unboxing, take a peek inside, see if it's much different than the Mario one that came out and exactly what you get for your money. So, if you stick around, we'll show you what's in the box. All right, on the bench today, we got our hands on the new Zelda Game & Watch. I don't think they were as quite as sought after as when the Mario one came out. But uh, I figured we'd pre-order it and uh, I'd get my hands on one quick just so I could uh, do an unboxing and show you guys what it's all about. And, of course, compare it to the Mario that came out. So, let's go ahead and crack this open. It's kind of got the same box as the uh, Mario one with the outer sleeve. Oh, look at that. They made the Oh, I got a points code in there. I'll have to make sure to blur that out. So, <laughs> okay. So it does come with points codes, so you can get your uh, gold coins if you uh, are a Nintendo fan. But look at this. They made the tray with uh, with our seal. Oh, and it's now a display stand. That's kind of nice. We'll have to put it up over in our display for our, our intros. All right. For the most part, they're very similar. We now have a select and start button along with our A and our B and our D pads, and our pause, set, time, and game. So let's go ahead, we'll pop that one on. And by the way, these things have a remarkably long battery life when they go into suspend. Um, that was one thing I was kind of concerned about because the new uh, Switch Lite, especially the Switch Lite, if you put it in suspend or into just rest mode, in a couple days, the battery's dead. This probably hasn't been charged in a few months and you know it still looks like it's still going strong but let's go ahead and turn this one on oh look at that that's awesome so we'll set uh, the time button press time oh, press time button Looks like it's scrolling through a few screens in clock mode. And we will set the time. And right now it is 2.17. This one's off a little bit. PM. Here we go. Are there any other time screens? Doesn't look so. And then that back just brings us back to our setup menu, which is very similar to our Mario one. And what if we come into game? Oh, look at that. We have Legend of Zelda. Link's Adventure, so Zelda 2, and what is this one? Oh, absolutely great. Link's uh, Awakening. So they put quite a few games into this one. And this looks like it's not the DX versions, obviously the original version for the Game Boy, since it's in black and white.
Looks like we can set volume, brightness, and screen size. What's this one? Let's see what the screen size is. Original or full? Okay. So it's kind of the, the difference between... Uh, the original Game Boy and a Game Boy Advance. Stretching the screen slightly, it looks like. Let's see, what is this? So we do have, our, still have our game and watch games. And a timer, it looks like. In case you need to time something. And we can obviously change the language for the three games. All right, so there you have it. That's, that's what we have for the software that's internal and what it comes with and how it's gonna work. So why don't we crack this thing open? See if it's the same thing inside. Looks like we have a tri-wing in the back. And we'll get a spudger to pop it open. And yes, for the most part, it looks the same. We have the HAC006 battery, which is the same as a, uh, a Joy-Con. Uh, I don't have any laying over there. It's the same as a Joy-Con battery. Um, we have... <laughs> basically the speaker out of a switch and it's sitting on a slight angle and they're projecting it out a hole in the side. Um, let's see, which processor is this? STM32H780. I believe that is the same processor. We have the same battery regulation so for the most part, this looks like the same board. They're just flashing a new game into it or a new set of games. Um, it's nice. They use the USB-C and they've got screws to hold it in so it doesn't put any pressure on the board when you're charging it. Uh, it didn't look like it came with a charge cord, but there's a little bit of weight in this end of the box. Okay. It does come with a charge cord. It was just hiding. We'll put that away for safe keepings. So there you go. And it's interesting. They've got the, um, the logo. I wonder if that, does that light up? Oh, look at that. Our Triforce picks up the backlight of the screen. Oh, we got to look now. <laughs> Hold on. Let's turn that off. We're going to put our shell back on. It's basically the same interior um, as this one. Slight modification, obviously, to add the, the couple extra buttons. But let's see what happens. Let me turn this on with the shell on. <laughs> It does. It's hard to see with all the studio lights on, but see if the, the camera can pick this up right here. It's kind of a nice little touch. So anyway, there it is. Just a quick first look at the uh, new Zelda game and watch that came out today. And um, I'll link an Amazon associate link below if, if you're interested in ordering one and supporting the channel. But, um, you know, if you're like me, just kind of enjoy Nintendo and the products they bring out, um, this is obviously something you're going to need to add to your collection. So if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and make them down below. Please give us a thumbs up. 
And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.